name's Christina, and we're going to be doing another problem here using the aliquot method. When we took this class, we had a couple of problems using volume using in the aliquot method, and it became a little bit more tricky, so we did want to have a good example for you. So I'm going to read this question out, and the question is stating that a formula calls for 0.6 milliliters of a coloring solution, and we're going to be using a 10 milliliter graduates calibrated from 2 to 10 milliliters in 1 milliliter units. How could you obtain the desired quantity of the coloring solution by the aliquot method and we will be using water as a diluent. So some of the really important things that you want to note here is that we're going to be looking for 0.6 milliliters of the coloring solution and we're limited to a cylinder that goes from the ranges of 2 to 10 milliliters in 1 milliliter units. Now much like the other problem where we had a least weighable quantity, we have a least measurable quantity using this cylinder because the least amount is 2 and the max amount is 10. So we want to make sure that we are within that range and it's in 1 milliliter units. So we're kind of limited on how precise we can make this measurement. We can't have something with multiple decimal points and a small, small number because we physically cannot measure it using this actual value. So what we want to start with is the 0 0.6 milliliters. And again, what I said is that we want to have it within the range of our least weighable quantity. So much like the other problem, we want to find a value, a solid number, that we can multiply this 0.6 milliliters by in order to make it fall within the range of 2 to 10 milliliters. So what we're going to do is find a couple of examples. First, we're going to multiply it times 3. It's a whole number. And one of the issues is, is that if we multiply 0.6 times 3, it's going to be 1.8 milliliters. And because this doesn't fall within the range of 2 to 10 milliliters, we can't use this number. So I'm going to try a different example of 0 0.6 milliliters times 5, and that's going to be giving us 3 milliliters total. And this is a good value to use, this 5 value right here, because it's going to make us fall between the ranges of 2 to 10 milliliters, which means that we can actually physically measure this volume out if we were going to do this in real time. So in order to follow forward on this, what we need to do is find a diluent or a amount of diluent, in this case it's going to be water, that will allow us to measure this out. And you want your total, so once you figure out how many milliliters of the diluent you need, you want your total to be divisible by the factor you multiplied by. So if, for example, we were to do 3 mLs plus 7 mLs of the diluent, that's going to give us a total of 10 mLs. So this 10 mLs is actually divisible by 5, and you always want it to be divisible by the factor that you multiplied that 0.6 by, for example. Mm -hmm. So to recap on this, we chose to use 7 milliliters of the diluent so that we can get 10 milliliters total. Now it's important that this 10 milliliters is within our 2 to 10 milliliter range. So we're not going to use something like 8 milliliters of the diluent like this example here because that's going to give us 11 milliliters total and that's not something that we want to actually use. So not using that value. So we followed through and we used the 10 milliliter total. Now, what Ani was saying earlier is that we want to have this value right here divisible by the value that we multiplied our 0.6 by so that we can find the uh, least measurable quantity that we need to have. So if we divide this by 5, we will be getting 2 milliliters total, correct? And to put this in conceptual terms, if we were to measure, just like the other problem, if we were to measure the 2 milliliters of this 10 milliliter, solution, and the 10 milliliter solution contains the coloring solution, or in most cases it's going to be a drug, and then also the diluent, and in this case it's going to be water. So if you were to measure 2 milliliters total, this 2 milliliters will contain 0 0.6 milliliters of coloring solution.